Welcome to the seven secrets of real estate in Dubai. My name is Bibi Bengochea. And I'm Dr. Heather Simone. And we are here together to help you invest in Dubai. Lots of people are scared of investing offshore and they really don't know it's not that far-fetched from making it happen. So Heather and I today are going to give you guys those seven secrets yes. that you can actually take your money and invest offshore. Most of us Americans like to invest behind our backyard. Yeah, you agree with that? Because they're familiar with it. Yeah, and it's where they're comfortable with. Totally, totally. Yes. So talk about. I mean, Heather has been to Dubai, and if you haven't been to Dubai, it is an experience to take in. Talk to us a little bit about that. Absolutely. So I went to Dubai on a family vacation, as you know. Um, it was a bucket list item for me to go, and I was pleasantly surprised with what I saw. I knew that Dubai had, they were a young country, relatively young country, and a lot of their architecture and their buildings were modeled after wonders of the world. So they picked, they cherry picked the best of the best and had this beautiful landscape from an architectural perspective. But, beautiful. Yes, so it is gorgeous, very eye peeling, very catching, and it just luxuriates everywhere. So we stayed, um, we, was, we were pretty a large group, um, and we stayed at three different locations. Nice. So it gave us an opportunity to really see what it was all about from a cultural perspective as well as professional perspective. And immediately during that time, I said, there's opportunity here. There's absolutely opportunity here. Uh, beautiful, beautiful buildings and landscapes. And it's a flowing economy. It's a, it's a booming economy. They're relatively young. And I started my quest for investments while on vacation. While on vacation. Well, but you're always that type of person that also takes, you know, people say risk, but you have to take calculated risk, especially when it comes to real estate. Uh, real estate are sound investments. And Absolutely. what I've found it with my clients and my investors that are purchasing in Dubai is they ask, okay, how does it work? Yeah. So there's different terminology, yes. right? For instance, they we say condos, they say apartments. Yes. We say down relative. payment then it's called a booking, right? Yeah. A deposit is a booking. So there's just different terminologies, but it's re relatively the same. And there's fear, fear of the unknown. This is why we've created this uh, webinar for you to give you those seven secrets of how you can take your money and really make nine to 10% return on your investment tax-free. Yes. So. This is a special opportunity, especially for us here in the States. We think very, we tend to be very comfortable and very shy about taking risks because it's an investment. We want to make sure that return comes back to us in a positive way. And the truth of the matter is, if you don't take any risk, there's no reward. Absolutely. There has to be some level of risk. Absolutely. And what I love about Dubai is that it's diversifying your investment portfolio. It's diversifying your portfolio. And, you know, in real estate, for instance, there's a tangible product. A lot of properties here in the U.S. do not allow the Airbnb um, to Great be done. Point. Right. Yes. Correct. So there are investments here, for instance, a lot of people tell me, well, you might, you know, Dubai is luxurious. It's very, very it wealthy is. country, a city, actually. It's not a country, by the way. <laughs> uh, because, yeah. <laughs> so it's a city. It's a city that when you take your investment and you're purchasing something there, it doesn't have to be $2 million or a $1 million. There are properties that you can get for about half a million dollars. Okay? Yeah. And 600, 700, 800, and really get a big return on that. But the most important thing is what is known as a post handover. And that's a secret that we're gonna share today. What does that mean? Yeah. So you basically, first you will do a strategy session with uh, Heather and I, obviously, and we will see what your needs are to invest. Then from there, there are these opportunities and certain properties that you could actually put, you can book them and booking, again is your deposit 
they allow you to make payments within five years for that property. But the, the best part of this, Heather, go ahead and say is it, that you can actually receive rent, okay, receive rent and receive from your Airbnb and take that money and put it and start paying off this property within five years. Amazing, amazing, amazing. amazing. So before we get to the how, I'm sure you're wondering what are the benefits? What are the seven secrets? What are the seven secrets? How is this going to look? So let's get into a little bit about what the seven secrets are and then we'll show them how easy it is to get involved. Regardless of what level, if you are in a very experienced investor or you're brand new and trying to get your feet wet and just starting out, it'll work out for you, especially with our guidance. So, Phoebe, say a little bit about your background. Well, my background is I've been in this business in real estate in the industry for 28 years. And out of those 28 years, seven years, I was a mortgage underwriter. And I basically, the mortgage underwriter is a person in the bank that actually analyzes your credit yeah. and decides whether you are going to get the money or not. So my background, uh, strong background in financing. Yes. And as far as real estate is concerned, I've been doing that for 20 years and my family for 55 years. So I eat, I eat, breathe, think Sleep, real estate. Real yes. estate. Exactly. Awesome. And, you know, being from the USA and having the opportunity to also, I, I'm coached and I'm also an author, I've been exposed to different nationalities and different perspectives Love that. on investing. Love it. And I really saw Dubai as a bridge for investors here because for me, the stock market is very volatile. And I feel, not that I'm not saying not to invest in the stock market, but you should diversify. Absolutely. So that's the first secret. Diversifying your portfolio into real estate. So before we give away the secrets, let me jump in and say a little bit about my background. So you are an avid real estate experience and I am, have been in business and finance for Fortune 50 companies in my entire career. My job is to grow the business for businesses and so I enjoy doing it but my sweet spot is especially working with women investors, women business owners and bringing that macro perspective to the micro level for the small business owners, customers, entrepreneurs. I grew up in New York and my family have been avid re real estate investors. And so it's always been part of my DNA to have and build a portfolio personally as well as for my clients. Because we know, Bibi, that real estate is one of, if not the best way to build multi-generational wealth. The other day I was talking to someone and you know, you trade time for money. Uh, yeah. Okay, so when you're coming to a point in your life, you're saying, how long am I gonna keep on working yeah. these hours? And it's every, if you're in sales or if you're in any type of position that you have a career, yeah. you know you gotta show up for work and you have to put in that time. How are you going to leverage and set up your retirement. That's right. So if you're in your 40s and your 50s or even in your 30s, you need to start looking how you can diversify and make money and be smart. One of the things that Heather brings to the table is that Heather will uh, give you access to actually getting lines of credit where you can, she's gonna go into, into those are one of the secrets. How do you take money and leverage from that? Absolutely, so to your point, if we are living here in the States and we're looking to buy property in Dubai, we're really not going to be able to get a mortgage here in the States for property in Dubai and vice versa. Correct. So how do you get the access to the funds to start or grow your portfolio? So there are creative ways, and this is one of the secrets, pen and paper out, this is one of the secrets, that you can, you can acquire a business line of credit anywhere from 50 to $300,000 in the business name to do as you please, which includes purchasing of real estate. 
So I know I said a lot there. It's not a personal line, it's a business line. So the first thing is, do you have a formal business, an LLC or incorporated? If not, we can help with that for sure. And then what does the business credit profile look like? What is the business, on the personal side is your FICO score, but there's a separate business scores that will help to determine the amount that you can obtain. And what we'll do is we'll, we'll jump on a strategy call, we'll establish some business credit for you. We know the ways to navigate through the business credit profile and then very strategically point you to what the business line of credit should be and who it should be with. And there are reasonable rates. They're not Shark Tank rates. They're not, right. they're not hard money rates. They're regular business rates. And it's a line of credit. So you use as you please, pay it off, pay it down, and the, and the funds, the line is still there. Yeah, and, and one of the things that you mentioned, and she talked about business credit. You have your FICO scores, but yes. you also have in business called the Paydex score. Absolutely. Right? And Heather helps you build that. Now, there's other ways. That's why we jump on a strategy call where you actually, you know, depends, you might have other investments yeah. that we can pull money from, okay? And you may have savings. So there's a lot of different ways where and how to actually take your investments yes. and how to make. Now you might be saying to me, well, baby, I'm here in the States. How do I get to see these properties, Yes, right? great question. Right. Great, great question. So on these Love strategy it. sessions, we'll set up an appointment where we go on Zoom and you actually preview this property through the lens that you're purchasing, right? We have everything formulated for you so you can take a view of Dubai right from the comfort of your own home or your phone. Yes. How so, great is that? Oh my goodness. Technology is our friend. Technology is our friend. But so Phoebe, the methodology that you use to show properties to those who are interested is the same method you would use right here at home. That's okay? correct. What are the goals that you're trying to achieve? How do you want to use this property? Etc. And there's there's several qualifying questions we use to determine what that is. And then based on what your input is, what your preferences and goals are, you show them the properties that align with that. Correct. The first first thing you need to do is set up that strategy call. Based on that strategy call, Heather and I will ask you certain questions. Based on the questions that we determine, we'll select the certain properties that are a good fit for you, okay? Yeah. I mean, 28 years of experience in real estate, uh, combined with Heather's other 28 years yes. in finance, yes. we're going to make sure that whatever you do purchase or look at is going to be worthwhile your time and investment. Yes. Let's talk about passive income. Passive income, we hear that it's like a buzzword in real estate. And it's like, okay, we hear it so much. How do we even create that? How do we create that? Real estate is one of the best ways to create that passive income stream. Going back to what your financial targets and goals are, you can Airbnb out the property. You can rent out the property. You can use it for yourself as well as for others. There's so many different ways to have that revenue in income coming in because passive income is really something that's on autopilot that the re revenue is being generated and flows back to you. So what better way, what better way than real estate than to have passive income, create that passive income. Another stream. secret, Heather, we talked to you guys about is a turnkey investment. What yeah. is a turnkey investment in real estate? Well, that's basically, you know, you're probably see, thinking, okay, I buy this property, now I have to furnish it. Um, how do I keep it clean? How do I turn it over to the next person? That's all set up for you, okay? So there's properties that basically you buy, are furnished, yeah have the cleaning process and have the turnkey yes. process and the whole income that's incoming and taking care of the expenses of the property. Now, you may be saying, okay, these uh, properties that you're talking about, there's different type of properties. There's villas, yeah. which villas are houses, yes. right? They're not called houses in Dubai. They're known as villas, all right? And condos are also known as apartments. And you know, there's also the townhouses that exist. So depending on what property you buy, depending on the turnkey operation that yeah. you need, 
we will I will suggest for you what is a good property that is being sold. Now there's also pre-construction, that's another secret, yeah. where as the property is getting built, you can be making deposits on that property and um, and then there's the process of you know the equity that is being built and there's a new buildings. There's so many different ways, but the key is knowing what your target goal is and knowing what, what you your high level goal is to be able for us to craft, design your specific strategy. I love the fact that it's turnkey operations because how are you going to manage an offshore property that is across the pond and ensure that the rent's collected on time, ensure that it's furnished and kept appealing. You know, when we own property here, you get the calls in the middle of the night that I have a leak, whatever it may be, and that is all taken care of for you. All taken care of for you with reliable, reliable organizations that have that kind of support and guidance. Yeah, and there, that's very important that Heather just brought up that because these properties are new construction. So I specialize in new construction. Why? There's so many benefits of new construction. Yeah. And again, one of the other secrets that we talked about today was tax free. Big, huge, that's huge. A huge factor. Huge. Huge. Yeah. So let's talk about tax free and I want to make sure that our viewers get this point because this is a game changer. This is really critical and it's a game changer. So let's talk about it a little bit. So basically you are buying a property. There is a one time, one time uh, tax that is placed when you first purchase the property. That is a one time and there are properties that I can possibly get that way for you. Obviously, if you book your strategy session, we'll talk about that. Yes. So, and that's a lot of savings, okay? So Dubai does not charge taxes every year for property. They have a one-time tax that's paid yep. to the department land once. However, there are uh, properties that I can get that way, and that's a big savings for a purchaser. It's huge. Huge. It's huge. So, I mean, if we take a step back and really look at this opportunity, a new construction property in a, in a booming economy with support of financing that you can acquire the capital to make the purchase, with support of the turnkey operations, with tax breaks, I mean, the benefits, they are just numerous the, benefits. And, and it's, it's making that choice to find out more. Yeah. You know, it's not going to cost you anything to actually book a strategy session with us and you will have a privacy yeah. regarding your financials, we'll go through what your goals are and then strategize what properties are best for you depending for you. on your lifestyle and what your needs are. I do have buyers that for instance they want to go to Dubai as a vacation or even buy it for their family to keep it in the family. So it all depends what all property depends. you're going to Buy. Some want vacation homes or second homes, Correct. but most are looking for a revenue. Most Correct. are looking for a revenue stream and it just depends on what your preferences are that we can customize and curtail that for you. This is a many years of experience. Um, this is a power team if I may, must say so myself. You have the real estate experience as well as the financing experience as well as attending and experiencing um, Dubai itself and all around it's just make the inquiry make the inquiry just make it happen take action yeah so there you have it seven secrets of real estate investing in Dubai for high return on your investment in real estate in Dubai register on our website now thank you for watching and I want to invite you to a strategy session to figure out what your next step is in your quest to real estate investing in Dubai Get ready, it's a game changer.